Hello. I have a bit of a mixed haul. I have some shoes from YRU or You for Eyes Up, whatever you want to call it. And I have a few items from Dial's Kill, which <clears throat> is actually some credit I had on my account because I had gotten ordered some shoes, got the box in, and it ended up not having the right shoes in it. But they didn't have any more of the style shoe in my size, so they just told me, keep the item, and we'll put the credit on your account. So, that's where I end up getting these items. Um, but first, I'm just going to show some more skirts I've made in the last, I don't know, week or so. I don't really, I haven't really been keeping track. Been a mess. This I made tonight. And I feel like I got this pair like almost a year ago. Now, the hard part about working with this fabric is it just like kept slipping. Like, not. It like kept sliding. It wasn't so straight. Like, I can't think of better way to say it. So, that was just the annoying part. So, my waistband looks a little wonky wonk. The rest of it's not too bad, but I just like this slime green, pleathery, vinyl, whatever you want to call it. Which, I think I got that on clearance, but it's been a while. This was a extreme pain in the ass, which is this like holographic sparkle dot, which I actually wore the skirt on Halloween. Um, me and my boyfriend went to the city museum for like this kind of like ravey Halloween party thing. It was cool. I haven't been to the city museum since I was like 11. Yeah. Like a year or two after it opened. And he had never been. Uh, so we had a lot of fun. Um, I just kind of did like a unicorn-esque look with the skirt. So... That's that one. Um, this skirt I made out of like a baby blanket, I think. Or like a child sheet set. From, it was thrifted, so. This just has cute little animals on it. This is also some thrifted fabric. I had to, except for the waistband, I had to get... Now, I thought this waistband matched this better, but I didn't exactly have the fabric with me when I got the, um, whatever, I can't, when I got the cotton fabric to sew this onto, because, like, I only had a small piece of this to actually make the skirt. It's super, super soft, though, like, and even the inside mesh part that the fur's on is not, like, super uncomfortable. It actually feels pretty good. Sometimes you get uh, faux fur and like the inside mesh feels really nasty and you have to line it. But I think this one will be okay without lining. But it's really soft. I did think about doing uh, like a cat, purple cat thing when I first made this for Halloween. But I ended up not. I ended up just doing the little unicorn thing. I was so last minute this year, so. You know. Um. Of course, this cute dinosaur fabric that I've shown before. Skirt. And the cat fabric that I showed before is now skirt. And the psychedelic cat fabric that I showed before. Which, I love this fabric. It's so cute. And I end up having to make a waistband of plain black fabric because I didn't quite get enough of this fabric to make this. I also think I got the stuff at the end of the bolt, if I remember correctly, so it was a little short. But I made it work. And I have this, like, I forget what this style of fabric's called. Like, it's kind of like that French drawing style. Um, but it's like a fabric I got on Easter Clarence. Oh, I don't even think, that was like almost, that was last year. Like I said, I've been going through all my stuff with the whole, like, moving stuff around and trying to go through all my projects I haven't finished and this and that and just piles of fabric. Um, this got so donked up. So this was 
something I was trying to rehab a little bit. This was originally at the pawn store. It was a dress. Um, I cut off the top part because the top was super stained, but the bottom was fine. And I wanted to make this just turn it into like an overskirt. The only thing, like, so it doesn't look bad, and if I wear anything with it, I'm just going to cover this waistband with whatever top I'm wearing with it. Because, like, this waistband, I just, I don't even know what room <laughs> went wrong here. It was just, it, it was a butcher job, but whatever. I made it into a skirt. I still think it's really cool. It's got, like, this kind of fairy effect going on, so. I was trying to, like, do a little thrifty recycling ordeal. Um, same thing with this. This was also a dress that was stained at the top, but I, uh, rehashed and just took the bottom part and made it into a skirt. That sound in the background is my cat telling me she wants to go outside. And her paws are, like, squeaking. But, let's see if I can get a better view on this fabric. Mm -hmm. It's like got a little shine to it, a little rosy. It's got like little flowers on it. I don't know. This camera isn't quite as good at focusing on stuff. Detail stuff. At least, I don't know. I have a hard time getting it to do what I want sometimes. So I think, yes, that's all the skirt stuff for now. So now I will move into my Why Are You and does cool stuff and. I mean, I only have three for each item, so I didn't, like, spend a bunch of money or anything. I waited for this stuff to go on clearance, and, like, this is one of the shoes I've been watching for a while. Like, this is, of course, my rainbow vibe. So, I will also do, like, a try-on part, too, so. So, I'll try my best to do a little show off the shoes. These are actually like super comfortable and they feel pretty sturdy and as someone who like has plates and screws in their knee like I won't wear regular heels. Obviously I didn't like string them up all the way. Uh, I mean they still feel pretty fitted even though I didn't like do that but yeah. I think these are really cute and comfy and I could wear these pretty easily which is nice. Okay, and the last two shoes are like basically the same, they're just different, like, style. So, it's like these soft little fit sandals with the little fur. Wow, my brain is just not working today. Um, so yeah, these are super cute. Aw, my kitty was sneezing down there. She's just down there playing with packaging. So well, there's that pair. And our little yellow boys. Of course my... I'm so unfashionable wearing socks with these, but uh... You know, we make do. Especially for the cold tootsies. And the last pair is, like I said, it's the same style of shoe. It's just rainbow. Because... Everyone likes rainbows. Let's just throw on packaging at the cat. Like, here, you can have that to play with. But yeah, these are super adorable. And I usually don't get shoes that have like fur stuff on them because, I mean, let's be honest, stuff gets ruined real easily. But these were $15. So, I mean, they're cute. And I definitely would not wear them like if it's raining or something outside. I mean, if I can help it. <laughs> so, let's do our little try on. We'll ignore my fashion faux pas with the socks and sandals. But, uh... I mean, they're simple. They're cute. They're pretty comfy. I mean, I can't imagine walking a long distance. And these would be the best. But, I mean, the bottom does have, like, a small, small padding. Um... They do feel a little better if I'm not wearing socks, obviously, but my feet are cold right now. It's chilly in here. Okay, lastly, I have just a few Dallas Kill items in here. 
Uh, Attack of the Silica Gel. There's just like so much of this stuff everywhere. I got this. This is from Horoscopes. It's a little more sheer than I thought it was on the site, but I do kind of like this. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is turtleneck. I usually am not a fan of turtlenecks, but I think this is stretchy enough. I might, I got the uh, 1X. This is plus size. So it was just like this really cute little sheer dress. It's obviously an overdress. Um, I think I got, I got it on sale too. So, and I think this would be kind of cool, like doing like a vaporwave type look. I don't know. I have ideas for videos in the future. My cat's straight up down here trying to eat this plastic. I don't know what's up with cats and plastic, but I mean, I guess I kind of know because it's something to do with it smell like a hormone thing. I don't know. Cats are silly. Well, I mean. Obviously, it's sheer. You probably see my sports bra, like I care. Um, this is a little bothersome. It's a little loose, so I don't think it bothers me quite as much. But part of me is tempted to take a seam ripper to it. I just I have this thing about like collars on my neck, but like I really like this dress. But I don't know. This might meet Mr. Seam Ripper. I, I like, it'll drive me insane. I just don't want to ruin it. <laughs> That's always the challenge. Like, a seam ripper can really destroy it. Like, what the heck is going on with my hair? Seriously. But yeah, last item. My next thing is this current mood top, which, come on, it's mushrooms. Like, it's super cute. It was really pretty cheap if I remember correctly it was like 12 bucks so like it was on sale and they actually had an XL I mean oh my god I love it I like this is so cute and I wish they'd come out with more stuff that was mushroom printed like I, I usually like a lot of the current mood stuff that's on there like usually super cute or groovy or like colorful. I like a lot of goth stuff too. I don't know. I always have these opposing sides to myself with my sort of fashion sense, but yeah. Hey, you can call me lame. I put this over my sports bra. <laughs> I just wasn't sure like if this is going to be sheer or what the deal is with that. Like, I feel like if I wear this, I'd probably put some uh, little, like, I have inserts like I have for this little sports bra. See how easily I pulled that out? I just probably put the little white inserts and then use the string to kind of support. Um, I've done that with certain dresses and stuff, so it should work. I mean, this is a little spandexy, but it might work. I do love this, though. It's super cute, and I would totally wear this, like, when it's nicer outside and, like, without my all dress. Which... They also had a extra large in, and it was on clearance. I'm always surprised when they actually have the larger sizes. Let's just say I'm not always that lucky. It has these little, like, uh, clippy things, which I appreciate. If anyone knows, like, old school overalls that had the little buttons. Ugh. I don't know. I, I, I had those stupid things break on me multiple times, so I don't know. I wasn't that thrilled with them. Let me try this on. I just kind of threw this over what I was already wearing. It is really cute. It's a little bit tight here, but it's not too bad. It still kind of fits me, though I will say, like, my butt sticks out, so my back's always going to be, like, super short. Now even like times when I've lost a lot of weight, that always seems to still be an issue. Um, definitely need to adjust the straps a little bit just to kind of bring this up, but it's still cute. That's definitely like my vibe. Anyway, that is all for this little haul. 
slash video slash me showing off more skirts because I just don't stop. I think I'm almost done with that, but I don't know. I always seem to find more fabric, but uh, I should chill. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's all for this one. Subscribe if you want. I post random shit.